And then Joe Pine said, now it's time for the transformation. <laughs> uh, whereas uh, in, in, I think translated to Dutch, I think there's like this movement going from experiences to also to purpose marketing to yep. really stand for something. Is that it? Is that the development of the experience economy going into transformation thinking? Yes, yes. Uh, so transformations were always there. It's in chapter nine of the original book because I'm always asking what's next. And, and so just asking that question about um, uh, customization, what happens when you customize an experience, when you design an experience that's so appropriate for a particular person, then you can't help but turn into what we often call a life transforming experience, an experience that changes us in some way. Mm -hmm. right, so that's what a transformation is about, is these life transforming experiences, um, um, experiences where we're using them to, in particular, to help us achieve our aspirations. Right, whether it's to go from flabby to fit at a fitness center, whether it's to go from sick to well at a hospital, whether it's to become a uh, better golfer with a golf coach, mm. you know, and so forth. One of the things that's happened over the last 15, 20 years is the explosion of the coaching business. Mm -hmm. right? It used to be like just if you're in sports, right? But now if you're like trying to be a professional sports person, yeah. you have like three, four, five coaches for all different aspects of yeah. it. Uh, and as individuals, you may have a, an executive coach for your business, you may have a life coach for that, you may have a tennis coach for your spare time. It's just amazing because and, and, that's what coaching is, is in the transformation business. So transformations, like experiences, are a distinct economic offering. They're built on top of experiences, just as experiences are built on top of services, on top of goods and, and made out of commodities, um, where you, you again, are using them as the raw material to guide people to change, to help them achieve their aspirations. Mm -hmm. So uh, my colleagues and I in the January, February Harvard Business Review this year wrote an article called The New You Business. And I'll give you a little confession, right? We didn't come up with that. The editors did. You know, we were talking well about it's originally competing on the transformation economy. They came back and I said, brilliant, yeah. right? Yeah. I said, now we, I got to get the word and phrase in there. So I, I worked out a sentence where we could get the new you business in there. Uh, but it is, that's what it's about. It's about becoming a new you. And it really helps companies um, understand how you go about creating that new you that your, your customers desire.